Ah, nothing's funny about this scene. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Shit's Creek bloopers. Oh, gross! Oh my god! It, it went was, right back in. It was honey. so disgusting! Yeah, it, no, oh my it, god. it just oh popped my out and said, Hi, god. Emmy. Oh Hi, my Em. God. I'm in here if you need me. I know! Oh, am I looking here? Sorry. And scene. For this list, we're looking at the most hilarious outtakes and mistakes from this Canadian sitcom. Do you wish any of these had made it into the show? Which one cracked you up the most? Tell us in the comments. Number 10, fold it in. You take that uh -huh. thing, and when this gets if near you say it, fold it in. While trying to cook a nice family dinner, Moira and David are confounded by the instructions in what she claims is her own mother's recipe when they're told to fold in the cheese in one of the show's most famous scenes. Next step is to fold in the cheese. What does that mean? But it's not just the audience who thought making a joke out of some esoteric cooking instructions was hilarious, because Dan Levy breaks character while they're trying to film. Though he starts laughing while he argues with Catherine O'Hara about the cheese, he tries to continue the scene and even walks off when David is supposed to. Ultimately, it was a bad take, but a great blooper. It says fold it in! <laughs> you! You do it! You fold in the cheese! Calm down! Then! Calm down, I David! Number nine, Trip. Hey, Stevie. Good news. I fixed the drip in David and Alexis's bathroom, so you can check that off your list. It's a treacherous job being the receptionist at Schitt's Creek's only motel, as Emily Hampshire proved while she tripped quite dramatically while trying to get out from behind the desk. Well, that could happen. I mean, mosquito season is coming up soon. While delivering a line about mosquitoes, she trips over something we can't see and almost falls to the ground. They have to reset the take while Eugene Levy claims that he didn't even notice her almost fall onto the floor. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hardly noticed. <laughs> Hardly noticed. It's always embarrassing to trip like that, but even worse when you do it while there are a dozen people watching and filming you. This hilarious mishap will never be forgotten. Number eight, church bells. Nice bike. Oh my God, oh my God. It's the scene where Ted comes back to Schitt's Creek, rolling in on a brand new motorcycle and also sporting a new haircut and far sharper dress sense. But it wasn't an easy scene to film because it happened to be a Sunday, which meant a nearby church was ringing its bells. Oh, it's Sunday. <laughs> Suffice it to say, you can't shoot a TV show with church bells ringing nearby. Church bells that could clearly be heard on the microphone. This mishap leaves Dustin Milligan and Annie Murphy waiting around with nothing to do until the noise subsides. Still, maybe the church bells ringing was the sign we all needed that Ted and Alexis were meant to be together. Somebody put some extra money in the collection plate. Number seven, one last check. Wait, one last check. Oh, God. <laughs> The Roses are on their way to Moira's surprise party, which she knows about but is pretending she thinks is a fundraiser, and Moira is supposed to pause before they enter and compliment everybody's outfits. Wait, wait, wait. One last check. Gorgeous. Perfection. Like your father the day I married him. But during shooting, Catherine O'Hara almost fell over in the middle of delivering the line. She continues to fall all over the place, causing so much chaos that the boom operator has to take a break. Gorgeous! <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that going anywhere? Yeah. Oh they all struggle to get back on track afterward, and Eugene Levy pretty much gives up on that take. And then, to make matters worse, Dan gets attacked by an insect and can't stop swearing. Number six, golfing. My thumb is extended. Is that the way it's supposed to be? Well, your thumb should be right down the shaft. Oh, it's on the shaft, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny and Roland need to go golfing to impress a client. Cue an extremely awkward golf lesson where Johnny is showing him how to putt. Very important. Uh -huh. Are you using the Vardon grip? I am using La Vardon. Are you watching this, Stevie? <sighs> Yeah, it was just a little hard to understand, so I want a record of it. But given the more intimate nature of the scene, which is a clear reference to many classic romantic moments in pop culture where someone plays teacher, Eugene Levy can't help but laugh, as uncomfortable as Johnny was with the situation. Grip is very important, uh -huh. Steve. Yep. 
As often happens in any scene also starring Chris Elliott, he keeps breaking character because he can't stop laughing at all the innuendos and euphemisms. Well, I'm using that at all. Uh, but my thought... <laughs> It's a miracle they ever managed to shoot this scene given how ridiculous it was. Number 5. MLM Pitch Darling, I know you're excited to be part of the, mo the fastest growing multi-level marketing community on the continent. <laughs> <laughs> on the continent. Please, darling, try to calm down. Moira and David think they've stumbled across a way to make a lot of money very fast through Allez Vu, a cosmetics company and clearly a multi-level marketing scam. David, I know you're excited to be part of the fastest growing multi-level marketing community on the continent, but honestly… Since at this point in time the Roses are basically incapable of finding an actual job, they jump at the opportunity to hawk cosmetics to the townsfolk. Oh well, if any of you do have questions about the products or how to earn up to 600,000. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the bloopers go just as poorly as the scripted pitch is supposed to. Catherine O'Hara can't get her lines right as Dan Levy pours champagne for all the guests. Despite the take obviously being ruined, it just keeps going as everybody in the room breaks character. To look at your best, your very best. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, mannequin. What do you mean? Oh, oh this is gonna look. <laughs> David is on a mission to redesign the blouse barn and make it more in line with his own sense of style, which means removing all the mannequins from where they're on display. What do you mean? Well, don't worry, I'm using the money to buy other mannequins. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to grab and move them that doesn't require Dan Levy putting his hand in quite an inappropriate place. It takes him a while to work out that yes, he is going to need to move the mannequin by grabbing it there. And you can hear the laughter of the crew behind the cameras as they watch him fumble. I don't want to... I have to literally do a figure skating lift. In the end, it's a funny blooper and a great scene in the show as he takes the poor mannequin apart. Number three. Fruit wine. We start again. <laughs> we all know that Moira's fruit wine commercial is one of the show's most iconic moments. In the lee of a picturesque ridge lies a small, unpretentious winery, one that pampers its fruit like its own babies. She's drunk while it's being filmed and keeps missing her marks. But Catherine O'Hara needed to miss those marks on purpose and missed her own marks in the process. In one blooper, she doesn't step close enough to grab the wine glass, almost knocking it over as she tries to pick it up and continue the scene. One that pampers its fruit like its own babies. <laughs> In an additional take, you can clearly see Catherine trying to keep her eye on the wine glass so that she gets it right this time. But she still has to start again because her line delivery was too weird, even for Moira. One that pampers its fruit like it pampers its babies. Hi! I'm sorry. <laughs> Number two, a little bit of Lexus. I have chosen to perform the title track from my liniment. Annie Murphy went away and wrote a little bit of Lexus herself but she still couldn't get it right the first time during filming. I have chosen to perform the title track from my... Numerous times in this blooper, she flubbed her lines as she introduced the song, unable to remember just how successful Alexis's short-lived reality TV show was. I have chosen to perform the top track from my limited critically review... This is gonna... <laughs> kill me. <laughs> In the end, a few mistakes here and there led to a legendary scene not only in Schitt's Creek, but in modern comedy more generally. You cannot say that Annie Murphy did not earn her Emmy. I'm a little bit of la 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 la, a little bit of Lexus. Luckily, she's managed to nail it every other time she's had to perform a little bit of Lexus in real life, including in a duet with Kelly Clarkson. La 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 la, a little bit of Lexus. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions wet hair. It's quite a sight to watch Eugene Levy have more and more water applied to his hair. <laughs> You're that wet that took you this long to a lot of <laughs> Wig. Catherine O'Hara's wig keeps getting stuck in Eugene Levy's face. Hair in your face. No, it's just, it's, 
It's right over my nose. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, that's okay. Rolling. Dan Levy and Catherine O'Hara are so distracted they don't realize cameras are rolling. Jack, uh, <laughs> did you know they were? No. Beer. Chris Elliott opens a can of beer and keeps going even when it makes a mess. Free beer. Mm. Even better. Stop it. We can't see what Eugene is doing, but it must be hilarious to get Chris to break. Well, I don't know about you, Johnny, but I would like my... I don't know about you, Johnny, but I would like my little one to stop it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, oh Danny boy. <sighs> Danny. Boy. It's Carl's funeral, and neither Johnny nor Moira wants to be there. For whatever reason, the people of the town decide that Johnny needs to deliver the eulogy, even though he never met Carl. In the show, Moira stands up to sing the melancholic funeral song Oh Danny Boy to save Johnny from having to make an awkward speech. Oh Danny Boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. But this blooper shows Catherine O'Hara breaking out into Oh Danny Boy while on set, singing it extremely slowly with Moira's famous and bizarre accent. The pipes, the pipes are calling. It's impossible to know how she's going to deliver each word. To make matters even weirder, Eugene Levy waits behind her, munching on the appetizers. Are you really going to let me see? <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.